um, it's really disappointing. That's not how we wanted to end. And we fell far too short in too many areas. Where do you think it went wrong tonight? Um, I think it's disappointing the nature of the goals we concede. You know, I think you can respect the fact they've got some excellent players. Um, you have to try and limit the opportunities that they get and you have to try and make them score goals that um, they have to work hard for. And I think, you know, we've lost goals off set pieces. Can't happen. Um, and also then just... We need to have much more discipline in order to make them, like I say, work hard. Given the way you competed with them away from home, does it make it even more disappointing the way tonight went? Yeah. Um, well, yeah. It was, it was difficult. Um, and, and once they got their rhythm, then it becomes even more difficult, I think, to, to restrict them. So it's one we're going to have to spend a lot of time looking at. Harsh words in the changing room between players and, and staff after that one? Um, there's been some words. I think it's, it's probably not the time. Um, I think everyone understands it's hurtful. Um, we wanted to turn up for the fans, especially tonight. And, you know, ultimately we've let, we've let them down. And, um, you know, we need to reflect on that. And there's going to be lots of things we're going to have to now sit and go through the discomfort of, of learning from them. I think we deal with everything as a collective. Um, you know, we've, we're in Group A, we're playing against some of the best sides. I think when you look at the Netherlands and England, they're the two European teams who have consistently been the best for, you know, you can say the last six, seven years. So um, I think there's some perspective in that. But equally, yeah, we, we don't want to be conceding the number of goals that we have conceded in this campaign. And I think what we've learned is these top teams have another level, and especially tonight, there was probably a little extra pressure on England because the circumstances they were in, we knew they'd be on the front foot and they'd play a lot of players that have good attacking qualities. And, you know, we allowed them to get their rhythm. And once they find that, it's difficult to restrict them. For all of the qualities that Scotland have been up against in this nation group campaign, should you still be doing better? We want to be doing better. Um, we want to be in Group A. And... We've learned a lot of lessons over the last three months and that's something that we feel the disappointment in because we do, we are ambitious, we do ask a lot of one another and I think we haven't seen the best of, of the group tonight, certainly. Does that feel like one of the most embarrassing nights you've had as a Scotland It's a night that we feel we've let ourselves down in a number of areas but we have a group that wants to fix it together and that's going to be important. You spoke about the, the fans and you spoke about um, during the week as well that you wanted to put on a performance that, that justified their backing. Um, what, what do you see them tonight? Yeah, I think we're, we're very grateful that they turned up and that they've, they've stayed till the end. Um, we, we want them to come back and performances like tonight isn't going to encourage them to do that, but we know that they're loyal. We know that... Um, we're role models, we know that we want to certainly put on a show and we want to make it a night that they come and enjoy. So there's now a little extra pressure on us now to turn turn a corner in the new year. Um, we'll, we'll obviously learn who we'll face in the coming windows um, and hopefully that gives us um, some new motivation and, and drive to go and, and really set, set a new tone because, like I say, we've finished this year in a disappointing way. Do you think there needs to be new motivation? I think there's there's a new opportunity every time you get the chance to represent your country. It's a new opportunity. We know it'll be a new campaign. We know we're now getting into you know European qualification, and we've made it very clear amongst ourselves that we want to to do everything to make sure we can get back to another major tournament. So yeah, that's that's certainly going to motivate everybody. I think. Following a performance like that and a result like that, is this the thing that some some really tough questions have to be asked? That you know. Evaluating personal positions, positions within the, the sort of the setup is, is now the time for that. Actually, you do that as a player. 
you have to you have to look at yourself first. Everyone will do that, um, and we'll also get the chance to to address things together, which is important too. But um, you know, a lot of us are playing at a top level. A lot of us have experience, and it's important that we do everything to reflect, review, get better. Um, you know, the standards always improving, and we need to make sure we're driving each other to be able to, you know, compete tonight. I, I felt we didn't compete at times, and, and that's always going to be something that's not going to be accepted, you know, collectively. So, you know, we'll definitely make sure we do that. Last couple, Ronnie. Rachel, after a campaign like this, rightly or wrongly, another campaign where results haven't gone your way, focus shifts towards the manager when this kind of thing happens. You know, be questioned whether he is the right man or whatnot. What do you say to people who are now maybe focusing in on the manager as to whether he is the right man to take a squad forward? I think we've 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 improved a lot collectively, and everyone's working so hard together. And that's always the nature of football. Um, when you don't get results, you know, of course, there, there's scrutiny on the, on the players, there's scrutiny on the collective group. Um, we are very focused. On, on what we're trying to do and we try and keep that narrative outside and we're doing everything we can internally to just, as I say, improve in every area. Um, we've been in Potty, which is a is the group we want to be in and we've we've learnt, you know, from some of the top teams, you know, that extra level that these teams have, the quality they have. We need to take these lessons and, and try and be able to compete a lot better and, and close that gap. For you as captain, there is that confidence, you know, that the current setup is the right one in order to, to make that next step? Yeah. I, I think Friday night was an example of that. Um, it's just unfortunate that, you know, tonight has felt such a, a disappointment and that's going to be a sore one for us all to have to take into the new year. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.